Do I plan on wearing this wedding dress to work someday? I do. Hello, welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Today I have a vintage haul from you. So these are items from vintage shops. So I've featured all of these shops before. You've seen, you've heard me say them before. Um, I am excited that we can finally go back and kind of do some shopping in person. So I went and I went to a couple of my stores and then one of the, my favorite stores, Trove, is going out of business of their shop front. They will be doing a bigger online presence, so I'll be sure to link them down below in case you want to check out what they're up to. Um, but I was super bummed, but I did get some crazy good deals, which was super exciting. Like, um, I think all their hats are five dollars and a few of the items I got for five dollars and then I paid like half price on a lot of the other. Um, including the grand finale is a wedding dress because you know I have no prospects and I'm not getting married anytime soon but I love a good wedding dress <laughs> so that is what will be at the end um, but yeah so I went to Trove and Lucky's and then I have a few jewelry pieces that I bought online just to kind of throw in here and show you um, but I am gonna start with the jewelry piece bleh, with the jewelry purchases that are online um, I think I got these all from the same seller, but I can't remember. This is just a pair of pearled sweater clips. I've always wanted sweater clips. I don't own sweater clips. So that is what this is, and I'm very excited about them. They're just basic, simple, should be super versatile. I liked them, and I they were probably cheap enough that it was worthwhile. Next up is this. It's like a kind of bluey, moonstone -y look. Gold necklace, it's short. It's just the type of necklace I enjoy. It kind of has like some leaves um, and some kind of berries or flowers. I depends on how you look at them. And then this is very 50s with its clasp, but I do really love this. Um, I'm excited to wear it. And I do have a piece of silver with similar stones, but this is different because it's gold, right? And then next up, I have another 50s. Um, so one of the Things that I prowl quite often is West Germany because if it was made in West Germany, I would have to look at when Germany like re became a whole. But you can really easily date stuff as like you know it came it was made before a certain date if it was made in Western Germany. But this is one of those pieces that I found. Um, the little clasp says West Germany on the back, and it's a really beautiful rose. And I just thought this was super cute and would be fun for spring and probably winter. Let's be honest, I don't super follow fashion seasons. Um, but that, I think, is it for the jewelry. And so we'll move into some hats. Um, so these are all hats from Trove. They were all $5. This first one is a weird fur hat. Um, I have quite the collection of weird fur hat. I have featured one of them in my Disney video, which actually I'll talk a little bit more about. But I just thought this was super fun. You can't really, I'm a little bit out of frame with it on. But it's just fun. It's a fun fur hat. I'll probably bring it to Denver when I go home for Christmas um, to be super over the top and ridiculous. But that is what this one looks like. And then I got a wedding -y type hat, I think. Um, I'm not sure when this is dated, other than I know the fabric is not polyester because it's a little bit moth eaten. Um, this was another $5 trove find. I just thought this was really pretty and when my hair is like poofier it would fit really well and I really liked the pearl and lace detail as well as the pin tucks. I thought it was really stunning so I went ahead and I picked it up because you know also at five dollars I like couldn't help myself. Next up is a hat that I did feature in my Disney video. This is just a really cute um like floppy hat I guess. Um, I just thought this was super fun and pretty, uh, and again, at $5, you really can't beat that price. Uh, I loved the color, and then yeah, I used this on a vintage rendition of Nana. I will link that video up here in the eye, um, but yeah, that's kind of what this one is, and I was super excited about all these hats, such a bargain, um, and then next up, all the, they're all underwear items, and I believe all of them were at 5 or $10. Um, this is one. Um, this is just a really cute slip. The color isn't as much of my thing, but I loved the little fruits at the bottom, and I thought it was so cute. Um, and then this was also fun to go shop because the store owner was in, and she was the one selling, and it was individual appointments, so we kind of got to chat a lot about her business, and I really enjoyed that. And then these are also from Trove. I have found myself loving 1950s shapewear, 
and so I couldn't resist a pass at these really ugly things. Um, but they, they cinch you in real quick and tight, um, and I do really like it. So that was it for, I think, the $5 shapewear that I bought. And then I also bought, this is technically a slip. I will be wearing it as a dress because this is very intense for a slip in my opinion. I'm debating whether I want to add straps, like just find some lace that matches and add some straps so it will fit those better, but if I wanted to use a strapless slip that would also be kind of nice, but this was also 10, it was either 5 or 10 dollars, that's why I'm not positive, and then, oh no, it just attacked my lip gloss. Um, good thing slips are easy to clean, <laughs> whoops. Uh, and then I do like the ruffles down here. Um, last time I wear lip gloss for a vintage haul video and I'll have to keep everything else very far away from my lips. Um, but yeah, I thought this was super fun and pretty and it fits me really well. Uh, it is a little hard to zip up because it doesn't have a hook at the top. So once I get a hook and eye closure sewn into the top, it should be much easier. Um, and that's such a basic fix. Next up, we're moving into my top four items that I bought in Seattle recently, my most exciting, um, since everything else was like hats and undergarments. Uh, but this is first up, so this is just the skirt. It's just your basic pencil -y 1940s vintage suit, but the top, um, I think this is stunning. I can't remember. It was 58 as is because it's missing the top button here. But it has backup snaps, and I'm debating whether I might just make the top button a statement button or something like that. But I loved the structure of this garment. It is so incredibly made. Also, normally this would be a wee bit on the bigger side than what I prefer to buy, but for $58, and I think it was even a percentage off that, I was happy to pick it up, and I just think it's so cool. It's by Edith Small, California Originals. Um, and I love this, and I love the tag, and I love, I love it. Um, it was 100% worth picking up. Uh, and I have been looking at this suit at Trove for, I think, a year, maybe even longer. I look at it every time I'm there, and then I, like, left without it. So this was my opportunity to buy it, and so I took it. Um, and I do also like the big exaggerated collar, but the main, main thing that I loved is this here, the way it, like, cuts... I'm so bad at holding clothing, but I don't know if you can see it kind of cuts and then it has like this right angle. I love that thing about like 1940s and then it also has like this detail here. It was just so fantastic. And then somebody on the skirt had altered it to fit, funny enough, my waist size. This is meant for larger, but they just kind of like crossed it over. It just creates kind of a pleat in the butt. It works perfectly. Um, and then next up, I have been also looking at this dress for over a year. This is not from Trove. This is from Lucky. I will also link them down below. They're my favorite vintage shop in Seattle. But I think this dress is stunning. I've been eyeing it for a long time. I don't know if I gained weight in quarantine or I just prefer looser fitter garments than I used to. But I remember trying this on and feeling like it was too big. And it fits pretty well this time. It bags a little bit in the back. But I'm just going to fix that by putting in some pleats. Um... Just like two little darts up here to fix that issue and then it won't even be a problem and I just think it's so stunning um, it's a little bit sheer but that's fine but yeah this is one of my luckies purchase and then my second luckies purchase this is the skirt nothing really exciting to see here just another basic pencil skirt but this is another fabulous 1940s suit um, so this is what that looks like it's super structured it's gray it has these really cool pockets that are kind of, or they aren't pockets, but they're like a pleating detail that is really cool and I love. Um, and then it just it fit me really well. Um, this was pretty pricey. This was a lot for me to spend on a suit, but I did love it so much. So I went ahead and went for it. And then it's like nice and small on the shoulders. It's just, it's kind of hard for me to find enough, like a small enough suit in the shoulders to like look because like 40s did those big exaggerated shoulders and I don't like how those look on me and they're very like not modern looking and I like this because I could also pair this with like a pair of jeans and like a t-shirt and it would look like I have a really awesome blazer so that was an exciting find and then last up and for me most exciting I wouldn't consider normally buying one but I think it was I'll have to look but they were doing 50% off all their wedding dresses and this was a $68 wedding dress already so it was only $34, um, and I will wear something white like this because it's 
let me show you and stop talking about it. Um, so it's this. It's this really nice cotton, like, 70s wedding dress. Um, my mom, like, rolled her eyes when she saw it and so that it looked like her prom dress, which cracked me up. Um, but it has, like, these sheer gauzy sleeves, high neck, um, so beautiful. And it fits me like a glove, like it was made for me. And, um, yeah, for $34, I just, like, couldn't pass it up. It is full length down to my ankles. I keep debating whether I want to hem it. But I am favoring not because it actually is hemmed to perfectly my length with like a pair of heels. So it will be a summer dress. It's cotton. It's lightweight. Um, and yeah, because it's cotton, I feel like it's casual enough to wear in real life. Um, especially if you pair it with some really bright, bold accessories, then it's not like people are going to look at you and be like, that's a wedding dress. What are you doing? And so yes, do I plan on wearing this wedding dress to work someday? I do. Um, and it'll be really fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is kind of the big reveal. This was what I was most excited about. And she um, helped zip me up. And I could just see she was so excited that it was clearly going to the right home. The biggest thing is I can only wear this one with pastel hair colors. Because this will rub all over this. And I don't really want to go through washing this. I think you could probably put this just in the washing machine. Um, but I would still be scared to and not excited about it. So I'm going to try to avoid hair color transfer at all costs. Um, but yeah, that is really it for this haul. Um, I enjoyed going out in the shop so much and I enjoyed going to Trove and chatting and feeling really sad that they're closing, but they do have some really killer items that I all, I think are already online or they will be putting online and they are some stunning like 1930s dresses, like really beautiful pastel ones where if I hadn't been so bad, I would have considered buying one. Um, but I've been kind of purchasing too many things. Uh, but yeah, I was excited about the hats. And then as always, Lucky's is a treat. And actually the owner of Lucky's was there. So I had a really fun time chatting with some of my favorite vintage shop owners in Seattle. Um, and I found really exciting things that I love. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, it would really help me out if you hit that thumbs up button. Um, ignore my crazy hitchhiker's thumb. It's a genetic. And then if you want to stick around, definitely hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you around. I will see you next time. Bye!